Hello guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. It is almost July. It is almost halfway through the year. It's almost halfway through 2023. What is happening? I don't even know. I thought today would be the perfect day to do a monthly reset video for July. I haven't done one of these in a while, but I love these types of videos. The ones where you plan, where you budget, where you set goals, do all of the things as we prepare for a new month. So grab coffee, wine, tea, water, whatever you fancy. I've got coffee, but I will be having wine tonight. And let's pop in to my Notion. Notion is something that I have started implementing this year. I love it. It's just a place to basically dump my brain out. And it's not necessarily where I plan my days or my weeks, but it is a nice place to put my goals, my meal plans, shopping lists, uh, content calendar. It's just like a really good overall place. If you wanna see my start of the year video where I walk you through my Notion templates, I will link it down below. But Notion is where I keep my monthly goals. So let's open those up for July. For personal goals, I have down that I want to see my friends. I want to get with my girlfriends, for brunch or happy hour or something fun and just fill up my friendship cup. I actually hosted my closest girlfriends last month for a little pool party and it was so much fun and I just want to make more of an effort to see them. We're all busy with work, we're busy with our kids, so it's not always the easiest thing to get something in the books, but when we do, it's so good. Another goal I have is to read two books. This month, I don't really have any particular ones in mind. I just usually go to the library and peruse the shelves. Something that I want to do is work on my time management. If you are new here, I'll give you like a quick little rundown of what I do. I am a mom of two little ones. I have a three and a five year old. I also have my own cookie business where I do custom sugar cookies for events, bridal showers, baby showers, birthdays, all the things. I also run my YouTube channel, and then I also ghostwrite part-time. And then during the school year, I teach preschool part-time. Besides all that, I also run the household. I keep it clean, I cook dinner every night. I really need to figure out time management so I am not always feeling like I'm constantly working. So, I'm trying to find different ways to lighten my load. I don't want to feel so spent all the time. What I'm looking into is cooking in bulk. That way I don't have to cook dinners every single night. I can like cook a bigger batch and we could just have it the next night. I'm also looking into possibly getting help with cleaning the house. That would just like alleviate so much stress for me because I'm someone who functions with a clean house. So I have to clean like weekly and I have to tidy up daily. That's just how my brain and my body can function the best is if they're in a clean and organized environment. And I also really want to train myself to do time blocking, which I've tried in the past. I loved it. I don't know what happened. I want to get back to it because at the end of the day, I feel like I'm not balancing things correctly. Stay tuned for that. It is something that I want to attempt. For my health and wellness goals, I'm trying to aim for 100 grams of protein a day. I suck at protein in my diet, honestly, like suck. I'm like a carbs, snacker kind of person. And as someone who used to be like a personal trainer, fitness coach who did workouts and meal plans, like I, I know better. I wanna continue my morning walks. I've been taking the dogs out every morning, just like, being completely unplugged and enjoying walking around the neighborhood and I love it. It's just so relaxing and really helps me get ready for the day without waking up and just having my brain so frazzled and like jumping in head first. Another goal is to move my body like three times a week. This is always a goal. It's like a broken record as far as exercise goals go. But I don't want to put pressure on like what that movement is as long as I'm just moving my body. Work goals. I would really like to focus more on short form content. 
I am like a long form content kind of gal. I come to YouTube to watch long form content. I love creating long form content, but I do realize like shorts and reels are just taking over the world and there is a place for them and they can be beneficial for my channel and just push me out of my little comfort zone. So I'd like to put out like two YouTube shorts a week. We'll see. I just want to like dabble in it a little bit more. I also want to start filming sit down videos like this because this is also kind of a way to alleviate my workload, give myself more time because I focus on vlogs a lot. Those just take all day or multiple days and I feel like I'm just drained and that's just the filming part of it. When you're filming vlogs and things like that, my husband was saying you can't really shut off from your work essentially because you're filming from morning to night and you, you don't really clock out and your brain's always thinking of like, oh, what can I film and like, how can I entertain? And it can be a little tiring. Like it's so fun, but when I have so much other stuff going on, it feels a little bit draining. So I'm trying to film more sit down videos like this where maybe it takes only like an hour, an hour and a half to film. And then the editing is a little bit easier. So then I could literally like clock out for the day and be done with the YouTube work rather than feeling like it's going on for days and days and I never like clock out from it. So trying to do more sit down videos like this, I, I like, I hope you like them. I would also really like to book three cookie orders for the month of July for my cookie business. So those are my goals for July. Moving on to planning. I've been using Google Calendar, for, I think for the past couple years and it has made planning just so much easier and efficient. I used to have a paper planner, which I loved. I love the idea of pen and paper, but at the end of the day with so much stuff going on and you know, constantly moving and grooving. I needed my calendar like on my phone where I could easily see what I had going on for the day. So Google Calendar made the most sense and I've started to figure out time blocking as you guys will see. I'll pull up my Google Calendar for you guys. I've been kind of dabbling with time blocking. I'll show you next week. Today is the 24th. It's my husband's birthday. Happy birthday to Matt. But yeah, I'm kind of just dabbling around with it. Some things are blurred out just for like privacy reasons, but I do want to make a video about this, of how I time block and color code and like label everything and make my tasks for the day. That's how I plan. I thought we could hop right into budgeting. Budgeting is something that has become such a big part of mine and my husband's life, especially since having kids because we're always trying to save money for our family, for vacations, for our future, all that stuff. So budgeting has really become such a big thing in our lives. We track our expenses each month and we go over everything at the end of the month to see where maybe we went over, where we need to cut back. For budgeting, I will pull this up for you guys but I use Microsoft Excel. It has free built-in templates. Let's jump into our family budget for the month of July. I'm gonna pull my computer up onto my lap so we can do this. Let's go down to our monthly income. Matt, my husband, works for USPS. He is a postal worker, and right now he's on the overtime list. You can sign up to be on overtime if you want to make some extra money, which we've been wanting to do, especially in the summers, because I'm not teaching in the summer times. I think, I'm just, I'm just like guessing on his paychecks, but I'm gonna go with 1,800 for the first paycheck and maybe 1,600 for the second, maybe? I don't know, overtime hasn't been that heavy. For me, I spent the school year putting money into savings for the summer, so I would be set as far as like income goes. So my income for July is 1850. I wanted to note that my summer income varies. With my part-time jobs, it can be up in the air based on several factors. For example, YouTube ad revenue, cookie orders, if I have a writing project. That's why it was so important to create a summer fund just in case. So any summer income goes straight to savings and my projected summer income should be around $2,000.
I should have listed it here, but I'm still new to these budgeting type videos, so bear with me. So our projected income is $5,250, and that one goes right up here. And now we'll go on down to our monthly expenses. Our mortgage is $1,380. Our HOA is 118. Our electric, I know, is going to be 389. Gotta love Arizona summers. Um, gas, I'm gonna say 35. And then water and trash is usually 50. Internet is 80. Phone is 200. Car insurance is 159. Car maintenance, I know we do have to get an oil change this month on our VW Atlas. So I'm gonna put 100 for the oil change, I don't really know. We put $100 into our IRA each month. Amazon Prime is 16 a month. And that's really our only subscription. We are on my mom's Netflix and I think we'll have to start paying soon as like her add-on family type thing, but she hasn't gotten a notice yet. So, um, miscellaneous is really kind of like an umbrella over so many different things. I could break it down, but I just feel like that's just too detailed and too stressful. So let me just throw out to you what miscellaneous is. It could be deodorant. It could be paper towels. It could be toilet paper. It could be a birthday gift. It all falls under miscellaneous. That's usually around 250. And then for the kids, this area is really anything that has to do with kids. Shoes, clothes, backpacks for school, going to the movies with our friends or having a play day at like a play place or something like that. During the school year, it's a little bit higher. For now, they don't have a lot going on. So I'm gonna make this 150 and like 150 is kind of high. But sometimes it's good to just like better save than sorry. Date night, I'm gonna put a hundred. Uh, takeout, I'm gonna put 75, which is actually kind of high. We like never hit 75, but that's for Starbucks or like the nights when I am like done. I don't wanna cook. I call Matt, I'm like, can you just bring like Chick-fil-A home or something like that? Those are pretty rare nights, but it's nice to have a little takeout fund. Gas, I have a 270. Right now I'm filling up my tank for like 74 bucks twice a month. And then I think Matt's filling up his tank for 54 bucks twice a month. Actually, I'm gonna make that 260 if I'm doing that math right. And groceries have been high lately. I think it's because the kids are home from school for the summer and we're like constantly snacking and eating and I'm not teaching at the school. So like we're home more and like eating at home more. So I don't know. Um, kids extracurriculars. I'm gonna put one, well actually, how many Mondays are in July? I'm gonna say 140. This is for my daughter's swim class. And that's really the only extracurricular we have going on right now. During the school year, my son plays baseball. My daughter might wanna start gymnastics. She was doing dance, but now we're trying to figure out what she wants to do next. So that's definitely higher during the school year. The projected monthly expenses are $4,252. So if we go on up here, you'll see our monthly income, our monthly expenses right here, 5250, and then 4252. We should have a savings of $998, which would be fantastic if we could make that happen because we do have some vacations this year that we are saving for. I see the beach in our future and I also see Mickey Mouse in our future, which were two vacations I had on my vision board for the year. So we're trying to make that happen. That is our little budget breakdown. And now we could talk about monthly favorites. I have two TV shows to share. We binge watched Shrinking on Apple TV with Jason Segal, Harrison Ford, just like an outstanding cast. And it was, it's so funny and so heartwarming and also like emotional. It's about these therapists who are going through their own shit. So you kind of see them dealing with their own stuff, but also like doing their job as 
as therapists and it's just it's so good you guys and then we just started succession we just started season two definitely late on the game for that one it's basically about this older man who owns like a huge huge company he's like a bajillionaire and he's trying to figure out who he should pass his company down to out of his four kids and all of his four kids are all like messed up in their own way but at first i was like i'm not gonna like this like i'm kind of bored but then i started like really liking certain characters and really hating certain characters and that's when you know like you're getting emotionally invested so that one's more of a drama there's definitely like some comedy to it like some dry humor it's really good so I've been enjoying that. Another favorite I have to share with you are hot rollers. Oh my gosh, I've been talking about them everywhere. It just gives you like that nice, voluminous 90s hairstyle. And I am a late 80s baby, so I was a 90s kid and I love this hair and I love that it's back and I love hot rollers. I used to use them in high school. I would take my mom's and use hers and now I have my own set and I've been using them nonstop. So that's definitely a favorite of the month. I feel like I don't have many favorites. I'll get better at this. I'm going to do this monthly. So that is going to be it for my July reset video. I hope you guys enjoyed goal setting, planning, budgeting, talking about favorites with me, and I look forward to doing this again next month. And we'll go over the budget and see how we did. We'll see how we did with the goals. Do like a little recap before we do the next month's reset. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.